I never can understand individuals that are sick. They're so mean. Yes, mean, my friend. So my message is, those that are sick, it's time to be healed. Those that are sick, it's time to be healed. And how you get healed? You get healed by you. First of all, you gotta be nice. Yes, you gotta be nice. The man, the man that was at Bethesda pool, he was there for 42 years. Yes, 42 years, my friend. And by him being there for 42 years, Jesus Christ asked him a question. Do you want to be healed? And Jesus stood there and said, do you want to be healed? And the man looked around and said, are you talking to me, Jesus? Jesus said, yes. Do you want to be healed? And then they start complaining and say, Lord, every time I go to this pool of Bethesda, somebody always come in front of me and I'm not healed. And a lot of people make it mistake, make it excuses of why they're not healed. Now, the pool of, of Bethesda is like uh, superstition because they know pool that will make you heal now. Come on. They say angel come by there and stir the water up. That's superstition. And all those people that are waiting for the stern of the water. You know, you know how many people are waiting for a prophet to come to town to be healed? And prophet, I'm going to tell you something, my friend. Prophet nowadays, the only way they're prophet, P-R-O-F-I-T, not P-R-O-P-H-E-T, but P-R-O-F-I-T. The only way they're prophet, because they look at your Facebook and look at your profile and then they, they, they look at a person that's very popular that's in the church. A prophet would not, listen, a prophet would not call your name if you're not in the, in, the, in the Facebook. But if you have a Facebook and you are popular, hallelujah, and what happened? They'll call your name and you'll be a dummy knowing that that this this prophet look at your 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 profile on your Facebook and call your name and you be a dummy you get excited for somebody calling your name, hallelujah! You say, "Oh, that's me!" Yeah, Ooh. Come on, be be honest, my friend. The prophet looked at your Facebook and you be a dummy. Say, "Oh yeah, that's oh my God, oh oh God, God, what? no, my friend. Come on, be real. So the man at Bethesda pool. Jesus Christ asked him, do you want to be healed? So he started making all his excuses of saying, Lord, every time I try to go in the pool, somebody go in front of me. Jesus Christ said, do you want to be healed? Jesus Christ said, take up your, take up, take up your mattress. You are healed. And then the Pharisees on the other side, looking at Jesus and looking at the man that was well, that is, that is going to be healed. So what you're saying the more of, the, of my message today is you can be healed, but some of y'all so nasty. Yes, I said it. Some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all can be healed, but you gotta be nice to people. Why would why would God heal a person that's nasty and mean? You've been in church for so long, and you've been sick for so long, and y'all still nasty. I don't understand. Why why sick people are nasty people? Come on. Why six people are so trifling? Amen. You could be healed, but you gotta change your attitude. You can be ill, you can, you can change the way you are living. Amen. You can be healed. But you gotta change your surrounding. You know, you know that you not, you not, you not, you not young anymore. Why are you wearing those clothes? You know, you know you're you not young no more. Uh, why are you dating guys that are young? You old now. You a senior citizen. You should be. You should be wearing leggings. 
and the reason I'm saying this right, you can be healed, but the way you are acting, that's why you're not healed. The way you're living, that's why you're not healed. Things don't happen to you it's because the way you are living, money not go far from the sky. They might go knock to your door and say, this, this money's for you. No. I see it happen, but the reason why things are not happen to you because you're just mean and you're nasty. If you open your door right now, you got dishes in the sink for two weeks. Two weeks. Why buy a brand new dish then 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 those dishes in the sink are so dirty? You know what I mean? Come on. Those clothes, those clothes ought to be washed. But what you do? You buy new clothes. Nasty. And Christian, listen, Christians are not to be the nastiest people. We ought to be the cleanest people in the whole world. Godless without contentment is great gain. I know, I know, I know say godless, godless and pleasantness, but some of y'all so nasty. Come on, some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all need. Come on. The reason why you're not healed because of circumstances. Y'all mean to people. You want you you you're the reason why you ain't you ain't healed? Because of the way you way you treat people. You treat people bad. That's the reason why you're not healed. The reason why you're not blessed because the way you living in mess. Glory to God. Amen. I'm no you think I'm picking I'm not picking on you. I'm just telling, I'm just telling the truth. The, we, the reason why you're not here, you've been to the doctor so many times. You spend all that money on the doctor. You're going for all the exam. The doctor say that, I ain't seen nothing wrong with you. But he said, doctor, I got, I got pain this way. Doctor, is not going to see that pain. And so, uh, can, can we be honest? Some of y'all, y'all be lying about, y'all be lying about your condition. Yeah, some of y'all, some of people, yeah, all people feel feel sorry for you all. And deep down, your sickness is your attitude. Your sickness is your nastiness. Your sickness is your behavior. You know what your sickness is? Your sickness is not pain. Your sickness is your personality. Hear me? But, but I must go back. I must go back. Go back to the reason why people can. The pastor invited a, a prophet to your church. I'm going to go back to that because this is very important. The pastor invited invite a prophet to your church. And before the prophet came to your church, the prophet know your, your, that you are you so much into Facebook. And the prophet looked look at your Facebook and know what you like. He know that you like certain things. He know that you're a shop shopaholic. He know that you love bags. He know you love shoes. He know you love all these things, right? He know you love all these things. He know that he knows that you love to go to Neiman Marcus. He know to go to love to go to these expensive stores, and he call you out, and you are so excited about this prophet call you out. Who? That's me. That's just me. Who? How you know? He know because you went to your Facebook profile. And you think you are blessed because a man tell you your Facebook account. The man tell you about your profile on your Facebook, big dummy. Come on, we gotta wake up. Wake up and realize people are not what they, they, they think they are. I don't see, listen, I don't see that. I bet every person that he call up have a Facebook account. Yes, I say that every person that passed, that prophet, that pastor, that various call up have a Facebook account. Come on now. If you if you ain't call your name, if you if you call your name out and you won't have a Facebook, God told him about you. But if he if you got a Facebook and he call you out, that means that he have looked at your profile. He know that you love cars. Come on, he know that you love expensive cars. Many, and he, you will be a, be a big dummy. Say, woo, you're excited. Yes, that's God. No, it's not. It's a man. Okay, look to profile. What I'm saying, the reason why some of y'all ain't blessed, because y'all living in mess. God don't bless mess. 
He said, no good thing with them the whole, the walk, walk up right before him. Hey Amen. You got to walk up right before God. God ain't going to bless a person that is shocking. God ain't going to bless a person that's coming adultery. God ain't going to bless a person that's a homosexual. You living in a homosexual. Y'all you are, you are on a down low. Hallelujah. You, God ain't going to bless, a, bless a, a woman that is a lesbian. You married, but you're a lesbian. You got a girlfriend on the side. Hallelujah. God knows about it. And guess what? I'm not looking at your profile. Uh, I'm looking at your I'm looking at your personality. I'm looking at your behavior behind the scene. Some of y'all bisexual. Hey Amen. Some of y'all y'all plan on getting y'all y'all sex change. Hey Amen. And call yourself a Christian? I'm, I'm talking about if you want to be blessed, you gotta change your personality. The Bible says repent. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of. That's why some of y'all don't have the Holy Ghost. You got a ghost. You got Casper, the friendly ghost. But you don't have the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost, I know the Holy Ghost lives in unclean temple. But come on, Bible said, present your body as a living sacrifice. Come on, some of y'all. Got, got tattoos and, and piercings and all these things, my friend. And you think God gonna do it in the temple? God don't want to do it in no in no dead temple, mock up temple, horror temple. Hey, come on, I'm 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 not saying this. I'm not saying that we don't make mistakes, but some of y'all, y'all making mistakes. Y'all habitual sinners. Y'all habitual living in sin. Listen, this is a nature of sin, but a habitual sin. Nature sin is Paul say it's not no more I that do it, but sin that dwell in me. What Paul say? Paul was saying that you're human, you gonna sin. But there's some sin called a bitch. You know the drinking is wrong for you. Why you are drunk? Behind closed doors. Huh? Some of y'all, some of y'all don't have a problem. You go to the doctor and ask the doctor give us give you some calibers, give you some weed so you can go to sleep. The Bible says he give his beloved sleep. I'm saying this to tell somebody out there, stop faking it to making it. You ain't going to make it if you fake it. <laughs> Come on. Go, listen, go to church don't save you. They know, listen, they know where in the New Testament that Jesus Christ built churches. He built bodies for the kingdom of God. He ain't built church. You go to the neighborhood right now, you see more churches and liquor store and, and a mama saw a restaurant Ha, ha, and people still out there selling drugs. People still out there selling their bodies. That's what I'm saying. God didn't call, call us to build churches. God called us to build bodies and the, and, and the buildings, not the church. You are the church. Amen. I can't, listen, I can't wait to go to church. You are the church, dummy. Amen. You are the church. God didn't come back for no building. God ain't coming from the pews and, and, and carpet and, 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 and toilet and sink. God come back for, for a, 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 a church, a body. But I can't wait. I can't wait to give my testimony in church on Sunday morning. Come on. Wake up. Give a testimony to somebody that's not saved. Jesus Christ said, if I be lifted from the earth, I draw all men unto him. Give your testimony to somebody that's in darkness. Some of y'all testify in y'all business. My husband didn't give me sex last night. That's not a testimony. He probably was tired. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> my, my, my wife, while she kissed me, her ditcher fell off. That's not a testimony. Come on. Y'all be telling y'all business in church. People want to know they be your business. A testimony is if God have delivered you from a robbery. That's a testimony right there. This guy was about to steal your car and, and the cop came up. That's a testimony right there. Oh, last night something happened in my bedroom. We want to know what happened in your bedroom. Come on. I'm talking about personalities. Y'all church folks are the most dangerous people in the world. 
Because y'all y'all don't know what a testimony is. I think a testimony is telling everything that, that's going on in your bedroom. That's not a testimony. But what I'm saying, the moral of, of the story is, y'all got to be nice if you want to be well. Amen.